so, so amazing. Oh my God. My hand hurts. No! But Houston, we have a problem with the mirror. Hey guys, so this is where I'm at with the table. I'm gonna start to foam everything in the house. Oh my God. Hey babes, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm like that. I'm Steph, and this is my YouTube channel. We're gonna be doing something really, really fun and exciting. What we're doing today is we're gonna be making a DIY foam cloud mirror. I've been seeing these all over Instagram, Pinterest. I saw Matilda Jerf posted like a piece of furniture that she had gotten, and that was like the first time that I saw the foam kind of cloud concept in furniture. I think it's a very European, I think it's a Dutch design. I'm gonna put some pictures here and I'm also gonna link down below some Instagrams or some artists that originated this trend because I think it's really important to give credit to those people. My uncle used to use this foam project a lot because he was like uh, like building his own like uh, hover what was it hovercraft. it was like a hovercraft and he like built it from scratch out of wood and he used a lot of this foam material so i'm familiar with what it looks like and the texture this is not the first time i've seen it make sure that when you guys do this project you do it somewhere that's really well ventilated or outside because apparently this releases a lot of fumes so i'm gonna be wearing a mask as well when i'm doing this and also my sister who's helping me will also be wearing a mask so make sure you guys are being very protective of yourself okay so let's do this diy i feel like quarantine has turned me into like a baker a chef an artist like just everything okay Ugh. Here is the setup in my driveway. I just put it on a piece of cardboard and we are going to be using this brand of foam. So let's test it out. So how do you want to put the foam? Okay, wait. It says to shake vigorously for six seconds. So I need to screw it on. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> oh, it's yellow. This is gonna be hard, I feel like. Okay, ready? Did our first go on the mirror. This is what it looks like. So I'm gonna let it harden a little bit and then see if I should do another layer. Okay guys, so I am back outside looking at my mirror. It's been about an hour since I first did the first layer of the foam on the mirror. Um, make sure you guys wear gloves when you do this because I got some on my fingers and it's pretty sticky. Pretty dry right now. Uh, it's pretty firm, like really, really hard. Um, so this is what it looks like. It pretty much doubled in size from what I originally placed on here. Just to like fill in some gaps, I might add just a little bit more. Um, but I think that I'm really, really satisfied with how it looks. Okay, it has been many, many, many hours later, and here we are. It is fully dried now. I just now have to separate the mirror 
from the cardboard so that I can start painting it. Oh my gosh, this is harder than it looks. Oh my God. How cool it looks like it looks so so amazing right now like and I haven't painted it yet I'm so excited to paint it I had to like cut it off and there's still some cardboard on the back but I am super super happy with this right now it looks so so cool so now I am going to start painting it So it is day two of trying to do this DIY foam mirror. We're gonna talk about the hair another time, another video. But Houston, we have a problem with the mirror. It started to curve out, and if you can see, it's like not even sticking to this corner of the mirror. And same on this side also. Thinking that I might just cut this raised section off and then re-foam it again. Hey guys! I have like marks on my face from wearing like the face mask. Um, first of all, let's talk about the things that we got at the homeware store. Three little bottles of white acrylic paint and then the paint can. My sister's holding like this big paint can. Woo! I wasn't gonna get paint but we decided on this really cute pink color it's called um, Dulce Antojo and we're actually gonna do the table. We're gonna foam it and paint it this pink color, which I'm really excited about. Woo! More foam! We gotta foam more stuff, so we got more foam. This is gonna be like a real project for me. I'm gonna start to foam everything in the house. Oh my god. Paint brushes, because we need them to paint the rest of the stuff. So that's all the loot that we got. We're gonna stop by to get a bite to eat uh drive through i think i want something to drink because i'm like so thirsty uh what do you want i have no idea I'm... something will occur to me <laughs> so we're gonna get a couple things just to like merendar <laughs> and we have some strong accusations about one of their sandwiches <laughs> well i got the <laughs> you want me to pronounce it the <laughs> okay so we ordered a ham and cheese what bun, is it? bun and roll. Bun and roll, but obviously here we say buns y roll. <laughs> right? Is it buns y roll? Yeah, buns y roll. It's she, and we were talking about that it's buttery. And I was yeah. like, do you know what the secret to life is? And she, <laughs> and she goes, and I'm going, butter. The secret to life is butter. <laughs> butter. Got the, your nicely melted cheese. And then the eggs, it's kind of looked like they look really fluffy. Okay, take a quick bite so I can get some B-roll. We're gonna get back into our scheduled programming and go foam some shit. Okay, so I cut off those raised edges and I re-foamed them down. And now we are going to foam this table that you see right here. So this is where I'm at with the table. Uh, the mirror is already inside, but the table I need to finish. So this is what it looks like. 
It's all foamy. I did it. It took a lot of cans of that foam stuff to finish it, as you can see. Now we're gonna move on to painting it, and I have a really pretty color that I bought, so let's open the can up and see the color. 